Hello everyone, I'm Jodi Lynn. Welcome to ED Naturally. Today's video is really special as we're gonna be talking about SPFs, but not just with me. This is in collaboration with Mary from Skin Obsessed Mary. I absolutely love her videos. She's amazing. She is literally skin obsessed. <laughs> like me. So please go ahead and show her some love, check out her videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to our favorite sunscreens. Hi Mary, okay. it is so, I'm so happy that you are here uh, with me today and I absolutely Yay! love your channel. Um, oh, thank so you. tell me a little bit about how you started your skincare journey and your YouTube channel. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I mean, you and I have been having lots of chats. You've become a friend and I'm so excited to be here today yes. and to have an opportunity for people on my channel to get to know you and we get to have a bit of fun today. So thank you. Uh, so all about me and my journey. So I am 52 and I started late. I'm not going to lie. I grew up in the South and I was in the sun all the time. We did not have sunscreen in the seventies and it comes back to haunt you when you get older. Mm -hmm. And it was really in my late thirties when I really started to, huh, maybe I should start washing my face regularly. I was far too late by the way. So all of you young folk watching, I hope you do this sooner. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a bit later, but then I found, I really started to get into it and it started slow, you know, double cleansing, moisturizer, SPF. And I did that for a while. And then as I got older, you start to see the little problems. You start to see the fine lines. You start to see the hyperpigmentation. So hyperpigmentation and all these little things start to creep up. And that's when I have to start, I had to start doing a bit of research and started to figure out a bit more about what skincare can do for you. And then it was a deep dive. And then I went off a cliff and I've been off that cliff for a while. Now the channel was a pure fluke. Uh, it was the product of lockdown here in Ireland. I'm an American living in Ireland 18 years. And I think aside from China, we locked down pretty much longer than anyone and more often than anyone. So we had a lot of downtime and I needed something to do working from home. I needed a distraction. And it was actually my other half on the heels of a call, a Zoom cocktail party with friends of mine when I started getting really aggressive with a friend because I said, so what are you doing for your skincare? And she's like, nothing. And I went, ah. and he turned to me and said, do you need to start a YouTube channel? Never had an aspiration to do it at all. But it turns out it's been a lot of fun and I've got to meet, I've got to meet people like yourself and I've made friends and I could talk about skincare and skin health and pro aging all day long. Cause at the end of yep. the day, that's what we're doing. You know, I'm 52 and proud and I'm not trying to look 22, but gosh, you know, if I can slow things down a little bit, then yep. I'm going to be happy. And like yep. you, I don't want to do needles. I like to do things in the privacy of my home, things that make me look as young as I feel. Cause I don't feel 52. Did I? Yeah. Well, you look amazing. <laughs> yeah. And Thank I you. think that it, it's so, and I'm so, I'm so glad that you said that because I think it's you, you are showing, uh, what, what can be done. Like you didn't start your skincare journey till late and yeah. you've been, I'm assuming wearing SPF and doing all of those yeah. things in a great skincare, uh, system and look at, look at how beautiful you look. I mean, I think that that's a lot of people think that there's only one way or one route no. to go. And no. um, a little time, a little patience, consistency, and you definitely can make changes. And, and it's one of the things that you say in your videos a lot, and I think it's so true, is that you just got to stick with it. Nothing's going to happen overnight unless you want to um, go to a clinic, in which case you right. can do things fast. And, yeah. But I just, that's just not right for me. Right. I, I think more power to anybody who wants yep. to do it. It's just not going to be me. Yeah. But if you just stick with it, I think things yep. like retinoids, you know, it's a yep. long game. It takes nine months before yep. you see the benefits of that. And you're going to notice a heck of a lot more in five years. You know, so yeah. if you're willing to just stick with it and not be too impatient, then the stuff I think works. Great. But the thing we're here to talk about, and it's funny because when we talk about sunscreen, it, would, would it be your number one anti-aging thing? Absolutely. And yeah, like you, I, I mean, I, I think I started my sunscreen like way later. I didn't start wearing sunscreen on my face until I was 47. I had no, I was yeah. completely clueless. I was, yeah, I was a sun worshiper. For sure. So um, that is the number one thing. And my friends will say, Jody Lynn, can you help me? Like, I'm, you know, I'm seeing this or I'm seeing that. Oh, that's great. What can I do? And I'm like, the number one thing is you got to wear sunscreen. And if you're not wearing sunscreen, I can't help. <laughs> that's what I say, because you, if I give you so other true. tools, um, it's not going to work. It's not going to matter. It's not going to work and it's not going to matter. And then you're going to be upset with me and I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not be aware of sunscreen. Yeah. But you know, what's so funny is that people know it. Yeah. That, that some of them still don't do it. So I was actually out in New York recently with all my girlfriends. We're all the same age. We're all in our fifties. 
and all looking pretty good in fairness lucky i think a lot of it is jeans i am going to say yep. that and i think i'm i'm lucky there too um but half of them at the table aren't wearing sunscreen mm-hmm. and I, I mean my jaw just dropped i'm like guys you know this like yeah. why would you be doing all these other modalities if you're not wearing sunscreen right and it's like well it's not sunny and i'm just like obviously you don't watch any of my videos <laughs> i know i know that's what i say to you obviously you're not watching my videos none of my friends are not are watching my videos and there you go and that's okay But that's just the number one thing. And I think that you and I were talking about this just a few minutes ago, that sunscreens have come on. You know, when I first started wearing sunscreens, which was what, 10 plus years ago, you didn't have a lot of options for things that worked well under makeup, that didn't leave a huge white cast, that didn't pill, that that you actually wanted to wear. Mm -hmm. But there's no excuse today because there are so many different sunscreens made for all different skin types. And there are some that just make us look better. Yeah. There are some sunscreens that make me look so good. I don't even need to wear makeup. Yep. I can't often afford those, by the way. So I don't repurchase often, but there are some out there that are that good. So yeah. there's no reason that you shouldn't be using them, you know? Yeah. I totally agree. And the technology has completely improved. 100%. So, so I'm, I'm yeah. wagging the finger at all of those that aren't wearing it every day. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> this is uh, been a new favorite of mine. This is called Ginger Armor. This is a mineral SPF of 50 plus, and I find it to be, they sent this to me. I find this to be like a mineral SPF of 50 plus to me is always really difficult for the face because if you're getting into that 50 plus SPF, you're usually going to have a white cast. And this is super hydrating. And it actually, the first ingredient is safflower seed oil. So it's got this like, it's it's like, Yeah, it's, it's going to give you this really like glow, like this really, I love the glow. It's going to give you a glow, like you're going to glow. Um, so if you're not into that, you're not going to like this, but I think it's, I've been loving this and I think it works great as a primer under makeup if you want to, too. So. Yeah. And I think that's important. And I've seen you talk about this a few times. So I need to get my hands on it. I'll see if they ship it out here to Europe because getting that right consistency, particularly under makeup, because most of us yep. are wearing it every day. But I think because yep. we are of a certain age, we like more hydrating products and that's mm-hmm. not for everybody, but a majority, majority of us do get drier and more dehydrated as we get older. So yes. I am always chasing the glow. Yeah. This glow means youth to me yes. in my world. I'd rather be shiny and greasy than, you know, like that. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and Yeah. So I'll have to try that. Now, I have a whole bunch of sunscreen sitting in front of me right now, and none of them are mineral. And I'm finding this interesting because when we were talking about this, I was always mineral. I always yep. skewed mineral. And what's happened is I have a couple that I love, and I will say, and it's the only reason it's not here is because I finished it and I didn't repurchase it. And that is the L to MD UV clear broad spectrum 46 tinted. Mm. It was it was the first tinted mineral that just is so beautiful on my skin. And it is, it is still beautiful on my skin. But when I finished it, I had made a switch sort of last year, I started dabbling more in the Korean sunscreens. And as a result, for me, when it came to repurchasing a price point of 12 euros versus 35, Mm -hmm. and really liking the effect of this of the chemicals, I just didn't repurchase it. But for those of you who love mineral, and you like a tint, the the L to MD is the most beautiful of all of them. And I think it's probably the most purchased sunscreen I have in my arsenal and have forever. So I've probably pre-purchased it 15 or 20 times. It's that good. Yeah. And I hear wonderful things. I think it's like the most talked about as well. Is it? Yeah. Because yeah, I like, guess a lot of dermatologists I, recommend it. Yeah. yeah. And it, just a lot of other influencers too. A lot of people talk about that. And I know it's wonderful. It's so beautiful on it's the skin. Wonderful. It's fabulous under makeup and I don't need to wear makeup. It's that's, that's the true test of a sunscreen. If I don't want to wear makeup, cause I don't wear it every day and then you don't have to. Right. So that would be my first choice for mineral SPF is the L to MD UV broad spectrum tinted. This other one that I really like is first aid beauty. This is actually a mineral. Yeah. Uh, and I got this in Ipsy. So I thought I'll just try it. The, the the con about this is SPF 30 only. And I really like a 50 plus, especially in the summertime for me. I live in Vegas. I'm the same. I mean, it's 110 here. There's sun everywhere. So yeah, all the you time. Need it. So I need it. So, but this is really lovely. And this is not, if you're not into that, like really super glowy, this is hydrating, but not super glowy. It's not matte. So it's not matte. Okay. But it is um just, yeah, just, it, it's really nice and it blends in like for a mineral it blends in actually. oh it's actually thicker than I thought it it's was going to be okay it it's nice really nice 
And okay, it's I might have not to try as that. thick as what I thought it would be for being uh, 20% zinc oxide. There's no titanium dioxide okay. in this either. Okay. So, I mean, it looks lovely. It's been wonderful. It is hydrating, but not like, ah. Right. So maybe a yeah. good one for the winter when you're, yeah. it's not super, super sunny. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Like I do have one mineral here and this is by HelioCare and this oh. is the 360 gel oil free. This is for the oily faced gals. Um, and guys, it is beautiful. It is mattifying. Now I absolutely loved it and I kept using it until I really just faced the fact that it wasn't hydrating enough for my preference. Mm -hmm. So this comes out as a gel. Okay. It's okay. not super drying and it, it dries in beautifully. I mean, the finish is phenomenal. It actually smells nice. Like it Does looks glowy. Ooh, that, that, that actually looks like a little blurry. Like this has, green, like it, it looks really nice. It does. It, yeah. it is absolutely Pretty. stunning. But what happens after about, you know, after it really settles in, I found it too drying. Mm. and I yeah. kept trying it this one is actually tinted I bought the non-tinted version for some reason I keep buying it again because I like it and then not wearing it because mm. it's I'm I want the glowy hydration boost like my skin is greasy without being greasy you know what I mean yeah. so already yeah. it's feeling a bit tight it's a bit mattifying and that's yeah. what it's going to do is it's going to dry down well so if you have oily skin this is what I would be suggesting everybody use fabulous Fabulous. All right. So this is, I've talked about this a lot on my channel. This is um, a hybrid, the dermatology. I absolutely love this. This is a tinted sunscreen. It's affordable. Yes. Yes. Um, universal tinted SPF. I love it. I love it. Like, and it glow, it definitely glow and protect. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. This color is perfect for me and we're quite different colors. Um, yeah. but I love are it. You, and are you medium? Toned? Oh, are they cold? Yeah, I'm medium toned. Do they have colors? I'm medium toned too. Well, uh, well, I'm like light medium. I would have thought you were light. Yeah, light. I wouldn't have thought we were the same. Yeah, light. but maybe we are. They're, I have. They, I. They don't have colors. No, and that's okay because obviously we're both we're both using it now. Mm -hmm. They don't sell this over here, and I really try not to import as much as possible. So when I go back to the states, I usually pre-purchase, send it to my parents' house, and I bring it home with me. It's like Christmas when I go home because I do all my shopping sure. in America. Send it, send it to a parent's house, and I collect it. So I just Love every it. time I go home, I buy a few of these. Now this is the most expensive skin. Uh, this is the most expensive SPF I'm using now because mm -hmm. I just love it that much. So mm -hmm. it's still affordable when you think about it. It's less it than is. thirty dollars, right? Yeah, and it's one point seven ounces. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. $24, so, $25. It's worth it. I buy two or three of these every time I go home. So it's just beautiful on the skin. It's beautiful under makeup. Or and if you don't want to wear makeup at all, I just, mwah, I love it, love it, love it. And obviously you do too. I've got, this is actually a body face, the Make Prem. Do you know what is so funny? Yes, you said, I have used that for years. And, this is face and body. I don't use this on my face. I use this on my body. Okay. Now, see what happened was I used to use it on my face and then I think they reformulated and it became mm. a little, a little oilier or there's something about mm. the consistency. I was using that five or six years ago mm. and oh. I found a place here in Europe that was selling it. So I was able to bring it in and it was a big honk and bottle. And at some stage, the formulation, it felt like it changed. Maybe it was a different batch. I don't know. And I moved that to my body. So that became what I was using on holidays. You know, it's a, it's an SPF 50 and it's such a honking bottle and it's cost less than 20 euros where I am. Yeah. Like it's such yeah. an it's, incredibly good value. Yeah. This is a great value for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it, it, I, I don't, it's not oily. So I'm wondering if they changed the formulation, uh, but I find it just to have a little bit of a white cat, just the smallest. It does. Face. It does. And so um, I just wear it on the body and I have no problems with it, but I'm and I think it's, it's affordable a, for the, for the, oh, price, a, you know, for the body. And fabulous. Finances. Yeah. Value. It's a fabulous value for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. Two yeah. in common. Two in okay. common. Okay. So what do I have? So like we were talking about the Korean sunscreens and I've just gone down that rabbit hole and I was lucky enough because a company called Salvana uh, sent yeah. me a shipment last year. And that was when I saw all these brands I had never heard of, all of these products I'd never heard of. And I was just elated. There were a few that I didn't like, but I'll tell you what one of the winners was. And I don't know if you've tried this, the beauty of Josan. 
actually because of you I've purchased a couple of them just from style Lena, actually just a couple okay. of days ago. so yeah I'm looking forward to it because a lot of people have been raving about that one now it was such a surprise out. it is such a surprise now it comes out white I was going to say if I can show it to you like I don't even know if I can get me out I need to place a new order so this is what it looks like right it comes out white the finish on this is just so beautiful it eventually goes in completely and it's a glow. <laughs> it's got that glow that Mary. Which Pace we love. Like look at this. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. on. It is stunning. And I think it costs about 15 euros. Yeah, I think it costs it's me. definitely affordable. So this is probably my big winner from last year. And I've repurchased and repurchased and repurchased. But another one that came in the same shipment was this one by Isntree. Oh, yeah. Have you seen this? How is that? Yes. And I've been wanting to try it and I have it. Well, let's just say my last order, I bought two of these. And I actually didn't mm. get one of these, which I should do because now I'm empty. Um, again, it's one of these ones that it's lovely, it's a little bit lighter. And I think this mm -hmm. actually might work for oilier skin as well, but again, it just completely disappears Yeah, and you're just, it, it's like, it's weightless. There's nothing that, there. You do and weightless. Does that one have a scent? Nope. No. Neither does this one. No, no. This is Which one's that? In 1004. I love this. The Medigastar Centella. Uh, oh my God. This is an oh. SPF for 50. Oh, I have that. Yes, you have that. This it's is fabulous. Again, very, it's fabulous. It's very much like that isn't tree, just very lightweight, melts into the skin, no white cast whatsoever. It's There's a beautiful uh, glow. It's it's hydrating. It's stunning. It's great for sensitive skin because that Sika, Centella Asiatica, but it's not mineral, but I think it might be a hybrid. We'll look it up and I'll put it what it is, but I know it's not like 100% mineral. But uh, it's be because what I'm finding really I'm interesting is, is is seeing a lot of dermatologists talking about the Korean sunscreens because people automatically think sensitive skin can't use chemical. Right. And it's actually not right. I think that there's been so, so many changes and so many improvements made. Different filters are, are, are being used that makes these perfectly suitable for people with sensitive skin. Now, not all of them, but I think any of these type of products, mm -hmm. whether we're talking moisturizers or cleansers, mm -hmm. they're all going to be different for different people. Yeah. And the same thing applies to SBF. But I think that traditional thinking of, oh, I have sensitive skin, I can't use chemical sunscreens. I think that they should be re reconsidered because you know there's a whole lot more out there, I think, than, than people realize. Just yeah. beautiful products, beautiful products. So the next one I wanted to talk about, this is the last one I think I really have to, to chat about, but is... I love these. The I recognize the bottle. Yeah. These are a little bit more on the pricey side as far as like 30 yes. some dollars. But the reason that I love these, this is more of like your foundation. The ones that I have, this is the sun forgettable protection. Cause they've got yeah. other ones that are like this that are not uh, foundation. The sun forgettable total protection flex. So it's SPF of 50. They do have the PA plus 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 plus. I love these just to wear as foundation. It is, it's beautiful for the summertime too. It goes on, right. when you first put it on, it seems like it's gonna be pretty thick and heavy. It does melt into the skin and it's very lightweight anyway, I find that. And every time that I wear this, um, my husband is always like, your skin looks so beautiful. And it's always wow. this, like my skin just looks really, beautiful. I just love it. That's an endorsement right there too. Yeah. And the reason I'm showing you too, is that the, uh, one is a light and one is a medium and one was just too dark and the other one was too light. And I kind of mix them together mix them. to get the beautiful color and that's worked for me beautifully. It's, it, it's so funny because I have used some forgettable as well. Now at the time that I started using it, they only had one, they had one oh. SPF. They didn't have all these different colors and different finishes. Oh. And I think it was the original. And that's the one that I repurchased over and over and over again. Now, the color on it was slightly pinkier. Like I would oh. be more of a yellow, but it was fine. You know, I still wore it. it. It does sink into the skin, but it wasn't foundation. It wasn't super heavy, but it was, it was just a tinted um, SPF. Beautiful finish. And I've bought loads of them. But again, I haven't repurchased it because... There are so many other options. The only tint yeah. thing that I've repurchased over and over is my dermatology. Yeah. That's it. The, it has definitely changed in the formulation because it's not that it's even tinted. It gives you more coverage than this. So it's definitely oh. that foundation. Like your res, like it's the coverage on this is amazing. It's like a foundation. 
So do you have are you using enough to get the proper coverage? See, yes. that's what in general is what worries me about makeup right. and moisturizers. I don't use enough. Now I use right. enough of this, this because is it's the, not like too heavy. Right. This, yes, I do. And it is the only one because it was made for that. I've tried, uh, yeah, with like foundations that say SPF of 40, I don't ever. Never, you never, 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 never. This is not that. This is the only one because it's formulated to be able to get the SPF of 50 and to give you that coverage and not be like ridiculously, you know, looking like. Okay. Um, and yeah, so it goes on kind of thick and you're like, ah, but let it just dry down. Okay. It about 10 okay. Minutes, and it's stunning and it gives you that coverage. So yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. I do the two. Where, where'd you get those? Where'd you buy? I get these just, uh, gosh, no, I think I got them on. Okay. Yeah. I might have to go. Maybe I'll get you to send me that link or you're going to put links to these things yes. down below. Are you? Everything so, will be down on the description box below. One of the things that I've never really looked into is SPF for the lips, like things that I, I like to wear. I mean, I, I buy things, but I don't wear them because they don't have color. I wonder if any of your viewers out there know, or if you yourself know of any products that you know, give you a nice lip color that also protects the lips. Do you have any, do you know of any? No, at color science has mm. got like the whole lip and they've got different colors. It was so drying on my lips and being <sighs> in the desert. Okay. Like, I am so fussy about what Same. there's only certain things that I can wear on my lips because they're so drying. So it dried out my lips immediately. So okay. that didn't work okay. for me. Uh, and yeah, just other ones that I've tried that have like color, there's, they just dry on my lips. I, so we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. So we're on so the hunt. Anybody, then. yeah. Viewers, if you've got a wonderful idea that's hydrating. We'd like to know. Gosh, so thanks. This has this been, has so, been fun. so fun. Yes. And like thanks you, I could talk me. skincare all day. Make sure that you check out Skin Obsessed Mary. Um, check out her uh, videos. She does wonderful videos. She keeps it real. Oh, thanks. I love and appreciate. And she, yeah, it's wonderful. And we're going to have you over on my channel too. So they can come yes. over and see you there. <laughs> yes. Thank, Thank you so you much for that. having to me. I've had such a ball. I've had such a ball and I can't wait to do it again. Me too. All, All right. right. So we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.